Hey there, thanks for choosing our music widget. In this video, I'll guide you through setting it up step by step, so you can start showcasing your favorite tunes on your stream in no time. Before we dive into using your widget, let's make sure you've got everything you need. First off, this widget is hosted on Stream Elements, so make sure you've got an account set up there before diving into the setup process. Then, you'll need a Last.fm account to track the songs you play. Don't worry, it's completely free. Next, you'll need a Last.fm API key, which is basically a special code that lets the widget access and display your music data. And finally, if you're not exclusively using Spotify, you might want to grab the Web Scrobbler browser extension to track songs from other platforms. Don't worry if this seems a bit overwhelming at first. We'll walk you through each step of the process. Setting up your Last.fm account. To get started, head over to Last.fm and sign up for an account. Make sure you verify your email address, that's important. Once you're signed up, connect your preferred music streaming service to your Last.fm account. If you're using Spotify, you can connect it directly. Otherwise, you might need to install the Web Scrobbler browser extension. Getting your API key and username. Now, let's grab your Last.fm username and API key. After signing up, go to your profile and make a note of your username. Then, head to the Last.fm API account creation page. You can find a link to it in the description of this video. Fill in the form with the required information ignoring the callback URL and application homepage fields. Here's an example of how to fill it out. After submitting the form, you should see your API key. Make sure to copy and save it securely. Remember, your API key is sensitive information, so treat it like a password and don't share it with anyone else. This key allows access to your music data, so keeping it private is crucial for your account security. Connecting your Spotify account. If you're using Spotify, connecting it to Last.fm is super easy. Just head to the Track My Music page on Last.fm, scroll down to the Spotify section, and hit Connect. If you're already logged into Spotify on your PC, you'll get a pop-up confirming the setup. Setting up a Web Scrobbler browser extension. Even if you're using Spotify, we recommend setting up the Web Scrobbler extension. It's quick, free, and allows you to track music from tons of other platforms. Start by visiting the Web Scrobbler website, link is in the description, and download the extension for your browser. Once it's downloaded, go ahead and install it. After it's installed, a window will pop up. Click on the settings icon. From there, go to the accounts tab and sign in to your Last.fm account. Then, just give the extension permission to access your account. And there you go. Now it's all set up to track your music from different streaming sites. Stream Elements, Widget Setup. Now let's set up the widget on Stream Elements. Log into Stream Elements with your YouTube or Twitch account. Navigate to the widget folder in the package you downloaded, choose the file for your streaming platform and install it. Then edit the widget, paste in your API key and last FM username and save your settings. Widget Customization each of our music widgets comes with different customization settings. To explore all the customization options and their explanations, make sure to visit the text version of the setup guide specific to your widget. Adding the widget to your streaming software. Finally, let's add the widget to your streaming software. If you're using OBS Studio, simply copy the URL of your widget from the Stream Elements dashboard, add a new browser source in OBS, paste the URL, set the width and height, and you're all set. If you're using Streamlabs desktop, it's pretty much the same process. Just add a new browser source, paste the URL, set the dimensions, and you're done. And that's it. Your widget should now be up and running on your stream, displaying your favorite tunes for all your viewers to see. If you have any questions or run into any issues, feel free to reach out for help.